Firstly, we need to open our web browser and search coolsoft.altavista.org slash en slash virtual midi synth. Once the website loads, we need to scroll down to the bottom until we find downloads. Once you have found downloads, click on the link which states coolsoft virtual midi synth 2.3.2.exe. Once the download is finished, run the executable and select yes on user account control. This will prompt the installation slash setup program to run. Once the setup program has started, we need to select your preferred language using the provided drop down box. Once you have done that, click next, click next again and the update notes will appear. Look through this if you please. If not, click next again and select the location you wish the program to install to. Click next and wait for the installation to complete. Once it completes, select reboot and allow your computer to restart. Once Windows starts, select the start menu and search for virtual MIDI and the program should appear. Then click on it to run it. Once it runs, go to MIDI Mapper, select Windows Media Player default device and select Virtual MIDI Synth 1. This will then default the synthesizer to the sound font you have selected. We now need to download some sound fonts. We can find these by going back to the website we originally downloaded the program from. Once we have done this, we need to extract the file and then locate the SF2 file. In the program, go to Sound Fonts, select the plus sign and then select the SF2 file. To enable the sound fonts as default, select the box on the left hand side of the sound font to turn it green, meaning enabled. Then click apply. Now here are some examples of sound fonts using the MIDI Passport from Windows 3.1.